All right, bro, I'm back. I didn't get to reach him. All right, all right, all right. So, all right, so I woke up uh, this morning. And, yeah. uh, you know, last you know last night or yesterday, I was putting all the all the videos and getting them set for a schedule, you know, so they can, you know, pop on without me having to pop it on. So I just schedule all my shit. So I wake, yeah, up, yeah. I wake up this morning and uh, I get an email from YouTube over here talking about the, the re, we removed your uh, your your video. And I'm I'm over here sitting like, OK, which which video are you talking about? Because they ain't. Ain't nothing on my channel that's violating anything. So I, I go a little, you know, I dig a little deep. And, you know, it's the TikTok, uh, the TikTok crate challenge. Uh, you know, the TikTok crate challenge. And I, I took the same title from a news video on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I took the same title from the news video on, t uh, on YouTube. So it says TikTok. Uh, crate challenge causing uh causing injuries or some shit like that so yeah, yeah. so mind you let, let me start by my my video you know being that my the way my channel is and the way youtube don't don't do shit for me on my channel it only had like it only had like maybe like 147 maybe 150 views so it wasn't like that my shit was going to was gonna go viral. I mean, the shit is already viral. I mean, it's it's already viral. But my little ass channel, I get I, I get I get a community strike, and I'm going like, what the what what the fuck are you talking about? Well, it's a community strike for a prank on unsuspect uh, unsuspecting people, and uh, causing harm. I'm looking at this shit like, what the fuck? I said, uh. These people that's doing this fucking number one, it's not a prank, it's a challenge. And number two, and number two, they're not unsuspecting. They, they willingly they, doing that bullshit. They, right, they willingly doing this shit, and they know the consequences. So, so they wouldn't like what I said on that shit because I said, you know, you don't have to infect black people with a virus. Just give them some stupid shit to do, and they'll kill themselves. Exactly. You know, so I'm over here like, you know, so I, I of of course, you know, once you get a community strike, they 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 give you the opportunity air quotes, by the way. They give you the opportunity to appeal it. But that that Nothing was don't that, never was, happen with that, yeah, that yeah, that was a that was a non-starter because every fucking every fucking community strike on YouTube uh, only way, only way that the, the appeal is won is by bigger YouTubers. Like, let's say if you like, let's say like you're a YouTuber that got like a hundred thousand subscribers, or or like, or, Kevin, like uh, you uh, might like Kevin Samuels or somebody yeah, like that. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, you uh, you you, uh, you done anything with that dude? I, you know what, I did a, uh, you know, I did a, I did a reaction video to one of his videos, and me and another. Me and another YouTuber, we talked about it, but man, oh man! <laughs> but it, it's, to point, it, it's to the point. It's to the point. As far as me reacting to Kevin Samuels, it, it's to the point that I I don't even I, I I don't even do it because the females now at first at at first it was like. A wow factor. It's like when you. It's like I'm, I'm gonna give you one of the review. Look, he did an interview with this other dude. Hold on, let me find it right quick. I'm gonna send it to you. Mm -hmm. But um, he did this interview with. It's called the the JBP mm -hmm. and Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. And it was it's a it's a it's a long video. But see, the thing about it is, brother, a lot of women are experiencing Kevin Sam Kevin Samuels for the first time on bike. And, and you know as well as I do, you can't assess somebody off of some sound bite that somebody has already prepared that'll make him seem a certain way. You well, know what you, I mean? You know if what? We, you know what? Another thing too is is that Kevin Samuel's been you know been doing this for a long time, and people a that's, long time. and people are not not people females that just coming in now. 
they already know how he is. They they just come on there for trigger purposes. That's it. They already know how the man is. Like you got a female over here talking about she came on there. Well, you know, I've been watching your channel for like a couple of months and yada yada yada. Well, if you've been watching this channel for a couple of months, then you should inspect what the fuck that's gonna come out of his mouth. You know? I mean, it's basically the same shit every night that he talks about. You know, he's not into fat women. He's 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 not in he's not into fat women. He just you know he thinks he thinks and says what he think and 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 stand by what he and stand by what he says. That's all it is. But see, here's but here's the thing too. Okay, like one of the questions the brother asked him on the on the show that I sent you is like, well, you know, what do you feel about? You know, how, how do you think about women that feel like you shouldn't be able to profit off of, uh, you know, talking to women this way? Ooh. It's like, well, Steve Harvey do it in the reverse. He caters to women. He panders to women. Right. But it's okay. But see, now, women for the law, and, and when I say women, I'm talking about our women. I don't give a fuck about nobody else's women. Right. Sisters have talked about us for the longest, forever. forever. We're un, dogs. Un, we're we're dogs. We 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 suck all the energy. We 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 got oh, little dicks. They got songs out there. And then, and oh then we, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, no, baby, bills, bills, bills. If you're gonna pay my bills, you can't no, do no, that. No, no. Scrubs, scrubs. Uh, scrubs. You can't get no love from me if you're not a certain kind of love. Uh, okay, exactly. This brother comes with actual factuals. He comes with statistics mm -hmm. that are true. Like this other brother, he got so emotional. Come out, it ain't true. It ain't true it that is. eighty percent of African American women are it overweight. Is. It is now, true yeah. by by the standards mm -hmm. of the medical community. I feel it is true because when you look at most of the pictures. On, on Facebook, it's a family picture. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Not Facebook. No, not, not Facebook, bro. Not Facebook. They No, nah, the new thing is TikTok now. Uh, it's, it's Instagram. So whatever. It's so Instagram any, most and TikTok. Most platform, when there's a group picture, just like he said, the average height for a woman mm -hmm. is 5'4". The average height for a woman is 5'4". Mm -hmm. And her weight, I believe he said, was... One, about, either between one one twenty five and one and one twenty five and one thirty five, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But, so but they about not. some girl being, but, but his 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 video that got the most traction, I think, was um, the one where he called his girl a six. But he said she's a she's an adjustable six, <laughs> meaning she could upgrade. Because like he had this one little girl on there, she was cute as fuck. Because you know how we are. We right. do the numbers in our head. We're, Wait a minute, we're, you visual, five, we're five, visuals. Five. You know, we, yeah, we, we you, visuals. You five feet tall, you five feet tall and you uh you one hundred and forty five pounds. That means you thick. Exactly. And they try to and that's why some of these females like I mean, I'm I'm not trying to be I I'm not trying to be judgmental or anything like that, but majority of these females when they take pictures, when they do selfies and all like that. They but they take it from the face them. they they take it from the face down. I mean I mean from they're the doing, yeah they right, doing cameo they, shots. Yeah, they only do the they they only do the head shots. That's it. They only you do know, the I, head I, shots. I was jokingly said all these people and men do it too. Mm -hmm. But I, I do it jokingly. I say you know cameo is Swahili for I weigh three hundred pounds. Right. You know you know they, they do the head shots. To, it's not meant to shame. It's not meant to shame anybody. But see, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. He puts it in perspective because women have been emotionally coddled and physically coddled so long. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't a ten, mm -hmm. but you saying this chick just because she got uh, great self esteem, you know? But she four hundred fifty pounds, right? She's and a they, ten, and they, they and, and you know, like I said, I look, look, I, 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 I you, date them. And how I, dare you tell her she's not? I, I date them. I, I date them all. I, I dated skinny women. I dated thick women. I dated big women. But, I mean, you know, I don't have no me. I You know, I, I love all women. But, but 
I mean, I love a woman women too, but I ain't gonna be with all women. I, I can't do things with women. Exactly. My 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 thing is this, man. I mean, you know, if your weight is due to a medical issue or whatever the case, then I understand that. I I I honestly a thyroid issue. Right. I I understand. I honestly understand that. You know, I, I'm a big guy. I, I ain't gonna lie. I neglected, you know, I, I neglected going out and uh and working out. I, I did, you know, I I do that, you know. I mean shit. So I, late. I, I, my lady, we getting ready to do right, an eighteen month right, health challenge. Right. So so but for the females that 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 comes on here that actually say, yo, uh I'm body positive at at 350, 400 pounds. Really? See, but you know what I tell, well, you know what I say to women like that? Like, my lady right now is a big girl, but mm -hmm. I'm finna turn her into the dime piece that she was mm -hmm. and that she wants to return to being. But, mm -hmm. the, but the thing, too, it's like, don't sit up and just be fluffy or whatever word it is just for the sake of kicks and giggles and likes on, on social media. And it's compromising to your health. I, I you know what? I, I like the fact that how these females, you know, they, they don't say that they're fat. <laughs> they they come up with different they come up with different terms and different words like yo, I'm yeah, Oh I'm, man, I'm look, fig. they got they got a whole new one, they, huh? They got a whole new oh, one. Oh, they got a new they one. It was like uh I saw one yesterday where it said, uh I'm not I, I'm I mean I'm fat. But I identify as uh, I identify as skinny. I, I'm uh, I'm transplender. Tra say what? <laughs> Tra what? <laughs> Tra trans what? Transplender. I'm Tra a, I'm fat, but I'm identifying as skinny. I am transplender. I Tra heard that. Transplender. Yeah, you, you. She fat, but she identifying as skinny. Trans, you know, okay, you but, know the people, but, 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 the people in the LBT and the Alphabet community, they they should feel some way about that. They, but you they know should what? feel I'm, some no, way no, no, about no, no. that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Look, look, look. Okay. They're not gonna feel. I'm gonna tell you why they're not gonna feel any kind of way, brother. Any what what do, what do famous people usually say? Any exposure is good exposure. Anything that that massages that into being normal. They'll accept it. Okay, uh, I, I, I'll, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't, I don't see that as normal. <laughs> okay, but but, but, look, all, but all they want, look, all, all they want, all they want is it on your mind, and because it, it, it is to it is the purpose of normalizing. That's why commercials are so powerful. When you inundate people's television and radio and newspaper and whatever medium of of of, of advertising you're using, and you keep it on people's mind, mm -hmm. just like watching television at one o'clock in the morning with your credit card. Do you need a new water hose? Why? Yes, I do. Because you the, the commercial come on every fucking fifteen minutes. Translender. I, <sighs> I mean, she, she meant it as a joke, but Bro. all that all it's doing is all you thinking about is trans. <laughs> And it is massaging it into the culture where it seems normal. Because we're going to have a generation of children that aren't going to have any problems with this gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual bullshit. Well, shit, we we got we we, we got that right now, my G. Right, 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 right now. We got that right now, man. And it's like a lot of these folks, and then and it's what Dr. Umar Johnson calls sexually sexual confusion. Right. You are confused. You know, you don't want to identify as a female, but every 28 days, your body said, that's a lot. <laughs> you, say, you, say, you say the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your monthly cycle said this is a lie. You yeah. bleed every 28 yeah. days. Yeah. You are a female. Yeah, a I don't female. give a fuck what you identify as. I don't know how you, I, I don't know, you know, maybe after you go to the hospital and then go through the whole, whole deal. But okay, but that's look, a, look, that's look, a, that's a, is, that's a, is this. that's a question. That, that's a question yeah. right there. Like, 
once you go to the hospital and go through the whole thing, you get your shit snipped and and pulled inside out. Do you still fucking bleed? Man, it's got to go somewhere unless yeah. they just yeah. unless they get a, a hysterectomy or something. But look, my thing is this too: Why can't you recreate yourself? Good question. You don't have a sexual a baby. That, you talking about? I was born gay. How the fuck can you be born gay and a baby doesn't know anything about a sexual orientation? Sure don't. So I I I, dis- I I've been disagreeing with that for years. For years, see, I'm not. You know, I'm not going. I'm like Kevin on that kind of shit. I'm not giving up that because. And then, like when you look at programs like Empire, I don't particularly care for that either. Those are the four black male types that are what's wrong with the black community. You got Lucius, the father of the womanizer. The oldest son married to a white woman. The uh, the next son wants to be, a, I mean, the next son is is, a, is wanting to be gay. And mm-hmm. the other one wants to be a thug, which ain't going to live that long. Mm-hmm. So those are four of the main types of men in our community that ain't doing the community no favor. God damn it, you... You said Empire hit all four cylinders with that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but but we get into it. And then, see, look, now, a lot of sisters like, he, a lot of sisters like scandal. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Olivia Polk was sitting up there being the side piece to the president. But exactly. let that have been the other way around. <sighs> let, let, that pre- let a black president have been fucking a side chick, white chick. Uh, it would have been, it, 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 it yeah. Yeah, that part right there. And see, and another thing, and another thing, we are not really requiring a whole lot from our sisters. And no, I'm not saying this. Not. I'm not saying this to, to denigrate a sister. I love my sisters. I always, I mean, I've dated out of my race before, but I, when it comes down to settling down and being married, I know where my bread is buttered on. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, one of our biggest issues in our community with our women. Sisters are always trying to tell you what you think and what you feel, even after you tell them what you think and what you feel. Mm-hmm. And the main thing that we are lacking is cooperation. So why is it that so many well-to-do, educated, intelligent uh, sisters are single? Yeah. 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 There's a reason behind that. And, and, uh, and let, like, let them and let, like let, 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 let them tell it. Let them tell it. They they want to be single. They they single by choice. Yeah, whatever. They you can tell that bullshit to yourself. We know better because you see it on Facebook and social media all the time. And like I used to have my daughter. Social media don't forget. Mm-mm. One and I'm not talking about my daughter on this particular point, but I'm just saying when you write shit, social media don't forget. Mm-mm. So one minute. You all lovey dovey in a relationship. Next minute, you 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 happy being by yourself. But then a couple months later, you are feeling yourself. Now you need some dick. <laughs> nah, they nah. They say they toys is is enough for them. Okay, yeah, that that. But see, but that 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 vibrator ain't gonna hold you at night. That vibrator can't fix the sink. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That vi- that vibrator can't can't uh can't put no gas in your car. That vibrator you can't pull that motherfucker out if somebody break in. What you gonna do? Vibrate the motherfucker to death? <laughs> and then also another thing, he even brought up the point that they did one of those survivor shows for six weeks. They put women on one island and men on another island, and the men damn near had the internet going, and these women. It's too busy trying to create committees because they don't want nobody to be over them. They damn near about to starve to death. So, See, that's and then even do. with this pandemic, and even with this pandemic, it showed a lot of women why you need a man in your life. Because, see, women at large, not just black women, all women have been coddled because men can't go get what women can get. If you need, if you need, if you need food, because just like he said when he was in college, he up eating top ramen noodles and shit. And this girl that he was talking to, she he go over her crib. She eating lobster and steak and all that. He's like, well, how are you doing this? 
oh, I got food stamps. I I I, I uh, qualify for food stamps as a student. So, uh, that's not what that that's not what that was meant for. And some men, but see, and and some men can't even qual- can't even qualify for that shit. Most men can't qualify for that stuff. But see, here's the thing: this pandemic showed women why men are necessary. Because there's a lot of shit that you ain't going to, can't do or don't want to do. And most, a lot of women, I ain't going to say most, but some women even got them programmed in their phone like that. Light bill, gas bill, car note, mechanic. They don't even have no name. It's about what they can do for them. Hmm. But here's the, here's the thing. What is it that we need to do? As men, oh, you need to man up and all this other stuff. Now, they can talk about us until times get better. But this brother, he don't, he ain't disrespecting you. He ain't calling you no bitches and hoes. Because the same same women that will say that he's disrespectful is listening to all that music calling women tricks, bitches, and hoes. Yep. Come on, man. Yep. And then they'll have the nerve to say, but they ain't talking about me. Yep. The same. You're exactly right. The same women that's talking all that bullshit. It's the same women that's that's listening to Gucci Mane, Money Bag Yo. The same women that be talking all that bullshit. Be the same women at the at at, at the uh at the concerts that be all up on there over there shaking their ass and making themselves look like a fool. But yet we y- y'all doing all that. But y'all over here talking about what 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 a man is and what a man ain't and and this that and the third. But you 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 was just at you was just at uh, Money Bash Yo's concert, dancing, shaking your ass to his lyrics, talking about what a you know talking about bitches and hoes and you know I I come over a hoes house and get my dick stuck and yada yada yada. Y'all y'all dancing to that shit. Same exactly. thing. Exactly. Same thing with y'all women over here. Over here, sing, uh, singing the lyrics to uh, to Megan Thee Stallion and and, and Cardi B's song "Wet Ass Pussy." You know, y'all y'all be the same ones that be sitting in there like, "Oh man, can you do shit for me and the man this and the man that." But you over here, I, but you, you see, Cardi B got her husband, even though he ain't shit. But Cardi B got her husband. Megan is Megan the Stallion. Hey, Me- she came out on the single lady, but she got her husband. Yeah, Me- Megan the Stallion is over there. Megan the Stallion is is fucking somebody. She may not be telling it, but she's fucking somebody. Hell, somebody got uh, Nicki Nicki Minaj pregnant, <laughs> and they be the same women that over here talking to that independent shit. <laughs> you know, but they got somebody though. Yeah. <laughs> but they got somebody though, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, dude, you can't have both ways. Talking about you want to be a tradition, you want to be in a traditional relationship with a traditional traditional man like your grandfather, but then you trying to do this new independent shit. Mm. You need to pick a team. Mm. But see, women are used to getting it both ways, mm. and we just gotta suck salt and deal with it. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's what's but up. see, now, this brother is coming up and showing, hey, I'm not you. I'm not one of your girl. I'm not going to talk to you like one of your girlfriends. Mm-mm. You're you're too harsh. Why don't you call us? Why don't you talk to us like Umar Johnson? You know, he queen and mother and earth you to the death. And I don't I don't mind giving due where due is due, but at the same time, that shit just done went to your head. Like I said, you gonna sit up and then. If it get too bad, other women will start to shame you. Are you telling me a woman that's sitting up here 600 pounds, can't get out of her house, got 10 necks up on between her chin and her chest, and you telling me she a 10? So let me get this straight. All right, we, we got uh, we got shows uh, of people looking for help. Uh What's this? Six hundred pound, my six hundred pound life. Mm-hmm. Like that. We 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 got people like that. That's in a situation. That's that's like 
overweight, can't do nothing. You know, they 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 getting help. Now they're getting surgically. You know, they going through the surgery and all like that. So you're gonna tell me you you sitting at about at about two fifty three hundred. You you gonna tell me you good with that? Unless you have a medical condition. Now, if you have a medical condition, I'm you know I I got you. No no judgment over here. But I mean, if you're honestly gonna come on social media, you know at the at the at the weight that you are, because you know men you you try to cater to the men. Now here's the thing with that. I get you trying to cater to the men because you know you you know you got a fat ass and thick titties and all like that but that's only that's only going to last for so long dude is only going to want to fuck him once he fucked he's done that's it he might want to come back for seconds but only thing only thing that the only thing that these dudes is coming into y'all live feeds and into y'all dms is because y'all got fat ass titties and the fat ass that's it well see too it's like why are you trying, and then you talk about the high-value men, <laughs> okay? But there's a difference between a high-value man mm-hmm. and a high-exposure man. Mm. You can see a motherfucker every day, but he might not have no value. Mm. Okay. Okay. And so why is it that women feel like they could all. They could be one step above a crackhead, but they think they deserve a man of means. And see what Kevin Samuels tries to do. He shows you the numbers. Mm-hmm. He don't go off of emotion. That's why I like him. I, that's why I like Judge Judy. Judge Judy applies the law. She don't give a fuck about your feelings. Mm. That's that, that's yeah, what the law is. You know that's, huh? that's you know that's a good question. You know I mean we. You know, you over here you're saying that you want a high value man, but let's let's break it down right quick. Other than, you know what? I he, he, I, I give you a perfect example of a TV show that showed a high value man, and he was messing around with with a big chick, Monique. Uh, what was this? The gang. Uh, Malik, Malik Wright. He was the football player. He was the uh, yeah. the star quarterback. He was the man. All right. Now behind the scenes, he fucked. He, he fucked with a BBW. He was all up in uh, Monique, and then Monique came out and asked him like, "Yo, why? Why you don't want to take me out? Why you don't want to show me off? Why you don't? You know? Why you only want to see me in the hotel room? Why? Why this? Why that? Because." He don't want to be seen with a big woman. Period. You know, when when have you seen a high value man? Unless unless you grew up with him, or you know you 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 started off and your wife was already there for you and she was thick. But these these high value men, the the, the celebrities and the athletes. Tell tell me, have have you seen them with uh with a three hundred pound chick on their arm? I yeah, haven't. only if she, only if she five, only if she's seven, only if she's six five, six six. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I have it. No, I I I have it. All all these pictures, it's the same thing. Even even with Khloe Kardashian when she did that fat shaming video, same thing with her. She was big. She she went and got processed. Now you know she. <laughs> She didn't. She didn't do no exercise or anything like that. She wouldn't pay for her weight loss to come off, and now she's uh, on the arms of these high value men and all like that. She knew what she had to do. But see, when you you, you can massage something into your psyche so long that it becomes your truth. Now I'm not trying. I'm not going to go back and try to shame no one. I think everybody deserves to have confidence. Because to me. A confident woman, I don't care what size she is, a confident woman is attractive. I don't care how small or how big she is. But at the same time, you still need to know where you are. Because a woman, like I said, that's one step above being a crackhead, 
will think that she deserves a high value man, but then a regular dude like me and you, let us try to step to what? A high a, value a woman. Of a high value woman. What? Yeah. Why are you driving a truck? Yeah, I, I'm a truck driver sitting at about 250 in the stomach, you know, sitting at 250. And I'm I'm going up to one of these skinny ass bitches now. Unless I unless I'm like Biggie Smalls, with the rap game and the money, black and ugly and fat as ever, then yeah, y'all fuck with me. But as as a truck driver, no, y'all don't want this. They don't want that. No, uh, uh, uh. They they ain't they, they will laugh at you. Now let's look at the money. Let's look at the money mm. right now. The median income for a male in the United States is forty one thousand five hundred bucks. Back when we was coming up, that was money, man. You think about fifty years ago making forty thousand dollars? Fifty years ago a house didn't cost that much. A car didn't cost that much. Hell a Mustang at brand new was about twenty five hundred. In the late sixties. But now, so the average woman don't want you. You could be making the same money as her. She don't want you. So then you move into the fifty thousand, and then the ninety thousand, a ninety thousand dollar man. They're in the top eight percent, and we talking about a regular wage earner. Because like my job, I make ninety two a year. I was like, "Shit, I'm moving toward high value," and didn't even know it. <laughs> moving toward it ain't there, but you know, uh, but yet and still, we're not acceptable. And women will always tell you what they want and what they don't want. And another thing that I find that is uh, that is off is when a man. Put his wants out there. Why you think you can? Why you think you deserve that? Mm. Over a woman can be average as fuck and think that she deserves the world. And then what Kevin tries to instill in these young women, you got to do the math. This one girl, she's a therapist. She's young for her age, and she's making seventy nine thousand dollars and all this other kind of stuff. And so she said. In the future, by the time she, her age doubles, she should be making a million dollars. And he's like, ma'am, I know a lot of therapists, and they're not making no million dollars. So what would your husband need to make? And she said, like, 80000 or something. But yet, you want him to pay 70 what? Percent of your household finances for you and three children? Come on. And that includes... Stocking your 401ks, your 457, your insurance, all of that. And then what you supposed to be able to do with your money? Whatever you want. And come on. 